This is Kevin at the Oregon Mini Group. Uh, I wanted to do a quick video here on how to uh, create um, individual campaigns on your Google Analytics so you can ass assess the success of digital display campaigns or other outside traffic coming to your website. Uh, and on your screen here, you can already see I have done that with a test campaign. Uh, so what it does is, as a consumer clicks on an ad, uh, or a URL outside of your website uh, and comes to your website, uh, Google Analytics will put it on one line item. Uh, so what that ends, what that gives you the ability to do is uh, judge the traffic um, and assess the engagement overall of that consumer with your website. Uh, as you can see here, I've got eight visits. 50% uh, of them are brand new. Um, my bounce rate's pretty high because it was a test. Um, on average, the consumers absorbed 2.6 pages. They were there for 35 seconds. Uh, and I don't have any conversion goals. Uh, what you'd want this to look like is, uh, one, if you're not sending it to a specific page about the information you're talking about, if you're just sending it to a home page, you really want this line item to kind of match the overall traffic of your site. Uh, so you can see if this consumer is actually engaged. So the higher on-page times and the num more number uh, of pages consumed obviously points towards a better engaged consumer. So quickly I want to show you how to set this up and you can see here um, uh, test source and test medium. I'm going to show you how to do that here quickly and it all starts with the Google URL builder. So if you want to find that I got to search for uh, just go to Google and type in URL builder or Google URL builder and it'll bring you to this page. Uh, and it's really simple to do. All you do is hit enter the URL of the website that you're trying to use. Uh, so right now this is my own website, so I'm going to recreate the one I already did. Uh, so kevinbecker.com forward slash wheelhouse white papers. Uh, so campaign source, this is where you put the medium. Uh, so let's just pretend it's an Oregon Live campaign. So Oregon Live. Uh, campaign medium, so this is obviously the uh, delivery method, so display uh, campaign or display is fine term. This is the length of time, so 30 days. Uh, content, so this is where you'd put your um, individual creative content. So if it's, uh, for example, a ad about uh, testing specific energy or maybe it's ductless heating and air, that's where you'd put this. Uh, so right now I'm going to do test campaign. Campaign. And you notice I'm not putting any spaces between test and campaign uh, because when this actually creates the URL, it'll put a bunch of ampersands and stuff in there. If you put them together, uh, it makes it a lot cleaner and easier to track or to read. Um, and then campaign name, I want to call it test source. Uh, and so on your analytics, when you go to your campaigns on your analytics, it'll actually show test source or whatever you want to name this campaign. Uh, so I click that, submit, and it actually builds the URL for you. And see, there's the original URL. Uh, here's my medium, Oregon Live. Uh, actually, that's not the medium, that's the source. Uh, right here is medium and it's display, right? So that could be display advertising, could be social posts, could be whatever you want it. Um, term, 30 days, content, test campaign, campaign name, test source. Uh, and so this is the URL you want to use as the click through for any, uh, for the display advertising campaign or any kind of published URL that you use so it shows up individually. Uh, the problem with these are they're extremely long and sometimes they break. So if you cut and paste this and forget to put in uh, part of it, uh, it doesn't work effectively. Um, and so a little trick that I've learned is if you take this, copy it, put it in, go to Google Shortener, uh, and Bitly does the same thing so you can use either one. I like Google Shortener because it's all included in one Gmail address. Uh, you copy and paste it here, shorten. And what that does is it gives you a shortened link. And so this is the URL that you actually use um, in your campaign. So if you're running a display campaign and you need a click-through URL, this is the one you give them. Um, and so what it actually looks like if you want to activate it, and you'll see it'll redirect. Here's the built URL. As you can see it up here, and it'll actually redirect it to this page. Uh, once you do that, what happens is every consumer that goes through that active link uh, will be compiled into this one line item 
and that one line item can be found uh, when you come into your Google, Anal Google Analytics, um, go to the page that you're looking at. So right here it's kevinbecker.com. I'm going to go to acquisition and then campaigns right here. And then after the day, so the next day when this thing launches, uh, when this campaign goes live, uh, we will see activity uh, in this area right under campaigns. You can see right there it says test campaign. So this is the URL we just created. Uh, and this is the one that's actually active. So as consumers use this, they will run through this uh, URL and arrive at your page and Google Analytics will help you track the effectiveness and engagement of that campaign. Um, again, that helps you optimize individual creative or individual campaigns and helps you assess how good and how strong your targeting is. Uh, thank you. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, uh, hope you enjoyed and learned something today. Thanks.